to the flip side. I'm Jason. Hey, I'm Eric. Good to be with you. So good, good to be with to you. Be with good you. to be with welcome, you. Welcome, 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 Eric. Man, so good to be back. Yeah, man. We haven't yeah. done flip side together yet yeah, since sabbatical. Oh yeah, so good. So nice. The background. I love yeah, it. I love it. Red. All right. Hey, I you want to hop into Let's these hop questions? into these questions. Yeah. All right. And thank you for all those who submitted. First question, Eric. How do I react when someone says, "God told me to tell you"? I'm a Christian and I pray and seek God's direction. Why wouldn't God just tell me? So I would say, uh, first of all, just say thank you. <laughs> That's the first thing. Just be nice. <laughs> that person probably probably meant well, right? Sure. Uh, and uh, just to, so I would say thank you. Hmm. And then I would pray about it. There, there is uh, a, in in the in the New Testament there were prophets, people who spoke God's message to others, and and we believe that those gifts are available today. That yeah. God does speak to us through one another, so that's a good thing. Um, so it could be that this person has a prophetic gift, and they really have a word from God for you. So I would say, be kind, say thank you, yeah, and then uh, and then you pray about it. Talk to your talk to your family, talk to your friends, and say, hey, do you think this is from God? And uh, and then you will discern for yourself. I mean, I know this has happened to you. It's happened to me. Yes. You know, you just got to you just got to take it to the Lord and, and see what he says. So that, that's what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I Yeah. And and uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to let that that one. There's there's yeah. a lot to be said about. Yeah. It. But the but if the question is, how should you react? You should be gracious and 100%. kind and say thank you. And you should discern if that's from the Lord. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's, yeah. that's that's perfect. And then if you're annoyed, that's a heart issue that you have to wrestle with. But that's not about them. That's about you. That's not that's not what you asked. Thus saith the Lord. Uh, I see what I did there. That was a um, okay. That was a call back to the. Hey, uh, next question, Eric. If the church is people, not a place, why is it important? to attend in person oh such a great question such a good the, question the answer is in your question because the church is people because you have a you are have an embodied presence you, there we all have physical bodies so yeah. if someone's so first of all if you're attending online you can't make it here wh whatever you're out of town that that's great you're just checking us out and you're not sure if you want to be a part of grace bible church that's awesome i would encourage you though if you're on the regular um to attend in person because you have a physical body it's somewhere mm -hmm. right and we know that there is something about being with other physical bodies that that is powerful that 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 does not happen online i'm thankful for online i'm thankful for how god's using it um, but it should be the exception not the rule yeah. and so one one strongly encourage you i mean it's the same reason um it was a big difference between seeing hamilton on broadway and watching disney plus hamilton disney plus hamilton it's is great. great i'm thankful for it I've, I've seen it many times but seeing hamilton in person that is a different experience. Yeah. Your, your favorite concert, guest speaker, whatever. Um, we are embodied people. It goes back to Genesis 1, that we were created. We don't, we don't, um, oh, there's a great quote that I used to know about. We don't have soul. Anyway, I don't have a quote for you. Uh, but, but that's why. It is so important to be together in person. Happy to, to always happy to, to flesh that out more. 100%. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. Anything you want to add on that? Like on the, on the, yeah, no, I just agree. Yeah, it, it's something about being a person, um, something about like physically experiencing what's happening and like the communal sense. Like it's I yeah, I will say this. Our our goal is less about. It's less about having a large church. It's more about we just think the experience is that much better. It really sure. is. Yeah, large. Small, it's not about the size. Gathering literally is gathering. Right. That's what it meant to gather. And that's not what we're doing. So anyway, that I'm just I'm going to say the same thing. But, yeah, I would strongly encourage you. And um, I'm thankful for what's happening online. And so many weeks I think to myself, oh, man, it's so good. So good. What's happening yeah. in the room? I just hate for you to miss out on that. Very true. Very true. Um, Eric, how do I um, how do you talk to someone who treats church uh, as a Sunday morning activity? Someone who faithfully serves and attend on Sunday morning, but that's it. How do you explain there is so much more? Well, one thing I do is uh, invite them to the service the next few weeks because we're going to be unpacking and we're going to be answering that Boom. question. Boom. Um, here's one idea practically for you. I would encourage you to ask that person to join you in some other activity. It could be, hey, would you, hey I'd love for you to, to come to our, our community group. And just ask them to come. Don't ask them to join and make a long-term commitment. Invite them to your community group. Or if you're getting together with some people to pray or to, to serve in some way, I would just ask them to join you yeah. and then see what the Holy Spirit does. 
I'm responsible for me. Jason's responsible for Jason. You're responsible for you. But we can invite people to join us. Um, because one, one of the things we're going to talk about as we go through this series is it this series is not going to be about come and do all the things Grace Bible Church is doing. Uh, there are things that God is doing through our church, but there are ways that we are passionate about serving in our workplace. We may, Maybe that person really is seeing themselves as building the kingdom in their squadron or at their hospital. Um, m- maybe they really are about building the kingdom as they go, and so it just doesn't show up. Or maybe it's a blind spot. I, I don't know. But one step would be to invite them with you. And then maybe just another step, if you can do it in a way that's not um, overbearing, would be to share how the Lord's meeting you. Yeah. It just We all know the difference between, hey, let me genuinely share what God's saying to me. And let me share what God's saying to me so that you can be better like I am. Yeah. We know the difference. So, yeah. Great, great questions, though. Great question. Are... Um, the community group suitable, um, this is question four, by the way, are community groups suitable alternative to regular church attendance? They seem far more intimate and meaningful. Yeah, uh, the answer is no, the, uh, they're not. And, mm-hmm. and, here, and here's why. The, the whole pattern in the New Testament is they met in the temple courts and house to house. They met in large groups and small groups. As the church grew, we see time and time again, there's the synagogue, which is where a lot of times they met. They would go to the Jewish temple. They'd get time in the synagogue, preach about Jesus. People would come. They would form smaller gatherings. I mean, they're just, it's just different. Yeah. Um, we get more, you can't get in the one what you get in the other. So the corporate expressing our corporate worship to God yeah. through song, um, hearing um, uh, preaching, that's not going to happen in a community group. Nobody's going to want to come to community group and listen to a, a sermon. We want to connect. We all need both. Um, and there, there, there's no exception. One, They are more intimate. They may be more meaningful. Um, but that doesn't mean that the large gathering is not also meaningful. Uh, and uh, s- somebody once said... Um, you know, there's a lot, there are a lot of things in life that we do that are like eating. Uh, and if I were to ask you, you know, what'd you have for dinner uh, on Thursday night or a week ago Thursday night, you know, you, you might not remember what you've had to eat over the last week, but you ate and it's important to eat to be healthy. Yeah. It's important to be involved spiritually um, and just like spending time with the Lord, right? It's like, can't I just, anytime we're saying, can't I just, we're, we're missing the, the, the fullness of what, what God what God is doing. And again, I'm not putting, you know, a, a grace community group. I want to say, are you living in community? Community? Do you have people with you? And here's what I know. The people who get the most out of the Sunday gathering are the people who are most invested in Jesus people being on mission together. Mm-hmm. Jesus people together on mission. At, the more we are in that loop, the more the gathering is important and a blessing to people. So these are good questions. We're going to be tackling all of these over the weeks to come. I, I love, I love that you asked. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, we got, you want to do a little, uh, discount double check in honor of, uh, opening weekend of this is, NFL. This is, oh yeah. This is yes. So yes. Good. Can't wait. Can't wait. No, I think that's yeah. all the questions. That's great. Eric, you, fantastic job. Thank you for those who submitted questions. And by the way, if you have more questions that you would like to submit, you don't yeah. have to wait. Uh, until Sunday to do so. You can do that uh, throughout the week and we will uh, get back to you as soon as possible. Hey, everyone who's watching right now or will watch via playback, we want to encourage everybody to stay connected with us via everything that we have, our social media platform, YouTube, great community, YouTube, uh, subscribe there, follow us on Instagram. Uh, There's a bunch of stuff there. That's anyways, stay connected with us. We want to connect with you. Uh, We will see everyone right back here after um, the first service at least. Probably all both services. We'll see you next week on the flip side. On the flip side. Hey, good to see you all again. Missed you.